Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl P, and today we're gonna be doing the part two to the night flirt listings. Um, so go watch part one. We're back on this Boss Babe 2023, and yeah, so let's just jump into it. So we're back talking about the listings. The last one I remember going over was having your ignore listing, which is under the fantasy category. So we talked about fantasy role play, fantasy other, and everything else prior to this. Okay, so let's talk about some of the other listings underneath fantasy. I'll tell you my success with them, and you can, you know, use your own discretion and choose which ones you want. Okay, so the next one, underneath the other one, would be Girls Next Door. I didn't sign up for this one when I first got started, but one of my friends had signed up, and she was getting, like, mad success on this listing, so it made me go create it. But the thing is, with this listing, Girls Next Door, I feel like it can be on the borderline of how the extra kinky listing is going because i feel like a lot of guys call this listing looking for like a hot teen you know um younger want to play that kind of role and sometimes it can get a little bit taboo so just be careful with that but like i said it was a really good listing for her she loved play playing like a little bratty submissive um until she got into Dom. I noticed she switched it up. Because Dom's always win. <laughs> but she was that little bratty submissive in the beginning. And that was successful. I did the listing for a while. It was cool. Um, but like I said, I didn't really like kind of the direction of how the calls went. Then underneath that is extra kinky, lesbian, bisexual, and kinky wives. I didn't really do those. Okay. So then there's another other. <laughs> there's another other. So what can you do with your second other listing? Well, one, don't get it confused because when they call you and they're like, your person is calling fantasy other or other category. If you have one of your others as an ignore listing, you have to be mindful to know which exactly other they're calling. So there's several ways you can do this other listing besides just an ignore, which I say you have to, you should want to have at least one of them to be ignore listing. But you can be creative in this category. If you know how to do tarot, make it a tarot um, listing. If you want to be a film bot or you want to have a moaning listing or you want to have um, a si not silence, kind of like ignore, a whisper listing. I mean, there's all sorts of things you could do. You could be creative. You want to have just a regular chat line, a non-sexual chat line. Like, make that under the other. Okay, so we're going to backtrack and go back to phone with Cam. So, let's talk about that. Women phone with Cam. Women phone with Cam has one, two, three, four four, five, six, seven. You can have up to seven in there. Obviously, you probably wouldn't qualify for all seven, but the top three got me the most calls. Women Home Alone, Extra Kinky, and Mistresses. I also had a BBW one as well, so if you qualify for that, take advantage of that. Um, but those listings and the phone with Cam really worked for me. Now, notice phone with cam is a little bit different than just the regular listing. Some guys call it, my phone with cam was all the same price because if you're video chatting me, my price is my price. Um, so I would get different guys calling for different reasons. So just because they call the mistresses doesn't mean they were all looking for female domination. Or I noticed with the extra kinky, they wouldn't, on video chats, they wouldn't be too perverted. It was... A cool one for me to have so test those out if you do phone with cam on night flirt let's talk about that phone with cam on night flirt operates like this they call you they ask for your skype user id you give it to them while you're on the phone with them then on a separate device 
you open up Skype. So for instance, you're on the phone, you leave your phone, you put it on speakerphone, whatever. You open up your laptop and you open up Skype on that device simultaneously having your phone on because your phone is what how it's calculating the minutes so you can get paid. Um there are girls that sell their Skype on Night Flirt. I talked about this in a video before and I got some backlash, but I'm going going to say it again. Me personally, I've been a cam girl first. All of my fans come from different places. I'm not just on one or two platforms, so I never know where people are coming from. I've always given out my Skype for free because of that, because... I didn't want to sell it on Night Flirt, but be given out for free on Cam or whatever the case is. Um, so that was cool. Girls didn't really like the fact that I wasn't selling mine. You are, you don't have to sell it. You can, though. So, for instance, if you want those girls who want to sell it, you can sell it for I don't know, anywhere between fifty cents and ten dollars. I guess would be a good price point for that. And then they get to have it. So every time they video chat you, they now just have your Skype. But what happens with the selling is they can buy your Skype on Night Flirt and message you on Skype and, you know, try to finagle your way off of there. And you really want to keep wherever you found whatever customer, and I know this is a Night Flirt video, but wherever you found your customer, you want to keep them on that platform. Don't try to take them off. So just be mindful of that and make sure you're following the terms of services when it comes to everything you do but specifically video chats now this is can be a problem because i personally think night flirt should have had something integrated like sex panther does so their customers and their users don't have to go off site to do a video chat so that's kind of where they are losing at um there's a lot of missed opportunities there but at the same time it's good to have that they have video chats and more than just calls so keep that in mind the next video we'll be talking about is pre-recorded listings and putting them into perspective to see if that might be beneficial for you stay tuned um thank y'all for being here i am accepting consultations if you've gotten a consultation before july 2023 and you're not in my workshop group reach out um yeah, so I'm offering consultations, workshops, reach out, let me know. Um, Instagram and Twitter, I want Paisley. Comment on this community board. Comment on this video below where I can reach you. Um, and yeah, so have a good one. Make some money. I hope this video was helpful. Give me some comments below. Like it. Share me on your Instagram. Share me on your community board. Engage, engage, engage. All right. Toodaloo.